I want to I want to talk about first of all the first acquisition of Black Lives Matter, and, I, and so many people don't do their homework on this topic. And when I talk to people about it, they 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 don't necessarily know what happened. They don't do the research, and it really shows how not, when I when I speak to people, and I hate to say it, when I, it really shows how ignorant and naive they are to what they believe rather than what's the truth. So. Uh, just to kind of get a uh, just to kind of get a, 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 a perspective on on um, Black Lives Matter and the whole situation with Black Lives Matter. So first of all, Black Lives Matter. There's two different there's two different things, right? When we think about it, we when we think about Black Lives Matter, there's the actual push push for Black Lives Matter. It's the calling. This is no formal organization. All it is is the idea of Black Lives Matter. There's numerous campaigns. It's the idea of Black Lives Matter. It's the focus. On a a widely um, a widely uh, relevant and uh, awareness and um, tangible oppression that's happening to Black people in the court, in the streets, housing, however you want to name it. So the idea of Black Lives Matter was, of course, coined when George Floyd, um, you know, got died in the street, and Black Lives Matter was kind of propelled even before that. Black Lives Matter propelled so. There's an actual organization of Black Lives, um, this actual name of Black Lives Matter, the, na- the, the name of it, right? Now, there was numerous campaigns that people were donating to. There was no like specific one campaign that everyone was kind of donating to when it, the, the idea of Black Lives Matter. There's a Black Lives Matter Foundation now. Now, this Black Lives Matter Foundation is called the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation, which, to the, to the, to the credit of... Um, to the credit of of this organization, they saw what was happening and they felt that the the, the they felt that there would there should have been and there should be a kind of centralized uh, network where uh, uh, the 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 money that they're receiving goes to the right places to the right people. Now, this is not me talking or speculation. This is what's actually happening in the court of law. Okay, this is what's actually happening. This is what this is not my own logic, not my own theory, not, nothing. This is what's actually happening in the court of law. So in the court of law, what is actually happening right now with Black Lives Matter or the situation with Black Lives Matter. So basically, Black Lives Matter, the global network, start this foundation. Right. Um, And the two leaders, of course, Alicia Garza and uh, Patrice Cullors. Those are the kind of the main ones. And Ayo Tometa, but mainly Patrice Cullors uh, Cullors and Alicia Garza were the founders of this organization. They found the organization and they found it under a type a type 507C3 organization. Basically, the organization is saying they can receive money, but they, as they work as a nonprofit, they work as a nonprofit, and it's going to go back into the, the community. Now, there are a lot of legal things that happen with this. You can't just you for other. So there are a lot of organizations that were receiving funds, and they have to show for where those funds are being dispersed. But a lot of organizations were receiving more funds. This was the main one that was kind of divvying, and getting most of the funds at the time. They founded it. They started it. It made sense for them to do that. So they formalized Black Lives Matter, the Global Foundation Network. So what happened? Black Lives Matter blew up, right? They received they received a, a large amount of money um, over time. Um, um, now I want to say this: the money is still there. The money isn't lost, right? Money wasn't lost. Money wasn't taken or anything like that. But Black Lives Matter claimed to 90 million in donations for 2020, with the end year balance of 60 million. They wanted to scale their activity in proportion, their upcoming finances, leading to a 21.7 in grants, Black Lives Matter chapters, and their POC-led activist group. So these are other groups that claimed, because it, this is the larger Black Lives Matter group, and there were other Black Lives Matter Black Matters groups as well, too, um, that were receiving donations. So um, a POC-led activist group, so within organization of this larger Black Lives Matter network group. So you have these smaller, these smaller Black Lives Matter groups. You have this larger Black Lives Matter group, Black Black Matters group that come into one. Now there was much much speculation about uh, uh, Patrice and her dealings with the money. So she stepped down in 2021. Uh, to, I'm just going to talk about her. She stepped down in 2021, um, and people were people were trying to figure out what what was going on. She stepped down because, as as the executive, because she was focused on an upcoming release of her second book, uh, her multi million year multi million year TV de- development deal with Warner Brothers. All right, so she was leaving. Now she was the point of people were saying, "Oh well, she stole, she stole so much money from from the people." 
this is where people didn't do the research. So let's actually see what happened with with her. So when you go down when you go down to the court documents of actually what you know what happened about her property, right? So basically, people said that you know she took the money and you know she took the money to buy property. So on April 23rd, the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation denied that it had paid for her purchases or real estate. And they said they did not pay for her. They did not pay her since 2019. So two years after she after she left, she she didn't get paid. I mean, and she wasn't getting paid the two last last two years. Adding that she only received the 120 since 2003 for carrying out 2013 for carrying out her work to the organization. So basically, for six years, she she received 120 million. So she was getting paid 30 million a year from Black Lives from 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 the organization. All right, so understand that. 30 million, 30,000 a year, all right? 120 for six years. So uh, she denied allegations. Um, she denied all, 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 all allegations. They looked into her and looked, they looked into her, her financials and found no misleading or anything, anything uh, um, that showed that she got money from Black Lives Matter organization, all right? Now, a lot of people. A lot of people kind of had these this this idea that she was she was getting money from them. She she was not. She got it with her own money. Now, here's another thing as well too. So, um, by Black Lives Matter group, well, I don't know so Black Lives Matter. The chap no the chapter statement. All right, on November twenty twenty on November uh, uh on November twenty twenty number November thirtieth twenty twenty twenty. 10 Black Lives Matter chapters filed a joint statement demanding greater financial transparency, decision making accountability from the main Black Lives Matter organization. The authors disputed the sole Black Lives Matter board member, Purchase Cola's appointment as executive director. So basically, the other organizations that didn't actually partner with Black Lives Matter were kind of upset because they weren't, they didn't get any of the funding because they weren't an actual affiliate. So basically, what happened? I hate to say like, it was it was just internal raid. Other organizations were upset. They wanted to get a piece of the money, but they weren't part of the network, so they, they sued and they got upset. Now, um, there there has been so many financial uh, uh, dealings or accusations of what happens. Now there was a let me see this. Um, so there was a uh, a. a Somebody, somebody, uh, some, so on some, uh, I think Patreon or The Guardian. Um, let me see, where was it? It was, it was a, it was a um, Republican group, a Republican that faked that faked the Black Lives Matters page and started spilling, spilling out conspiracy conspiracy rumors about about Patrice Colors, and then everyone started grabbing onto it. It, it's what people wanted to grab onto because they wanted to find something wrong with Black Lives Matter. So now you have the you have the other organizations that that weren't part of this five hundred one this five hundred one C that wanted a piece of the money but weren't actually affiliated and had to go through a process. So where does that leave it now? The Black Lives Matter money is still accounted for. The problem was and the problem that they're dealing with right now is getting all those organizations or this main organization down and then figuring out the tax purposes. The money isn't gone. The money's still there, right? People are just up. There's a lot of other black organizations that were upset that they didn't get some of this fund, the funds because they, but mainly because they were not part of the larger, the larger POC. So now it's going through the IRS. IRS hasn't found any, any, any necessarily wrongdoings yet. It's more or less ensuring, figuring out where Black Lives Matter is going to set up camp for tax purposes, which is, and now is in California, so they can, you know, get right with the IRS. That's where they're at. Now, this is nothing different than some of the corporations that you guys support, that you guys work for, right? It's simple. It's simple. It's simple. And, but people want to discredit, same thing, if you bought something from Amazon, you bought something from Walmart, you bought something from, uh, from Giant, you bought something from Harris Tea, the grocery store, all these corporations do the same exact thing, but they do a good job of hiding it. All right? Now, so, Black Lives Matter was is completely transparent. The biggest issue for them, the Black Lives Matter Global Network, the biggest issue for them is just figuring out where figuring out where to uh, to have their nonprofit within the rules. It's not about because that's when you apply because different financial different financial um, uh, uh, tax purposes depending on where they're at. 
And that's the biggest issue you're dealing with right now, not the mismanagement or actually missing funds. It's just where they need to set up camp so they can get tax purposes. So this is the homework that you probably didn't do, people probably didn't do, and, and not, not, I mentioned this is still going on now, right? This is the homework that no one did because they wanted to believe that Black Lives Matter was not legit. This is the homework that, that Jonathan Isaac didn't do when he said something about the organization. So that was one false claim that I don't agree with. 